And welcome back. We love to put a smile on your face and to help you improve your home and improve your life. I'm Cindy Dole. I'm Eric Stromer. And this is Home Wizards, and, you know, this is what we're doing. We love to help you just, you know, when you walk in the front door, whether it's a small place or a big place, feel like, you know, things are looking pretty good. Doggone it, I'm a winner is what yeah. we want you to say. And this is that time of year where, you know, why not add a fresh new look? To your space. Yeah, and also one that's a little inexpensive and totally. not, not a, a huge financial commitment, which is great. Yeah. You know? Like, how about breaking up your dining room chairs? Now, let's say, for instance, that you have uh, a smaller group. Maybe it's just two of you. Maybe it's just one. Maybe it's four. But unless you really are seating eight to ten people at your dining room every week, your chairs probably don't get that much use. Why not steal two chairs from the dining room and use them to maybe flank a console table in the entry or yeah. a dresser? Or the ca- they'd be the captain's chair position or something, right? Or in the home office yeah, that's or right. in the living room. So you can kind of repurpose. And there's so many of these um, these uh, seat covers that are really handy and uh, inexpensive, like Bed Bath & Beyond sells a lot of them. There's a lot of websites. So you can kind of even change the look sure. and the fabric inexpensively. Good idea. Yeah. With Good the, job. With the seat covers. How about updating your lampshades? Well, see, now that's a huge thing. Yeah. I, I just did this with two of my lamps. I have these Jonathan Adler lamps. Oh, those are fancy. You know, which are really kind of cool. But the shades got, you know, I don't know what Weathered happens. Weathered. Weathered. They yeah. look like crap, though. But anyway... I replace the shades, and it makes the whole room look and feel differently, you know, with with a brand new crisp shade that reflects the light much better. I uh-huh. love the look of some of these shades. They do great. Uh, you know, the ambient light that comes through them is so much different, and that's why I think they're more expensive, because mm-hmm. they look better when it, the light bulb comes through. It, it changes right? the color changes of the, the room. changes the color of the room, absolutely. And two, keep in mind, if you haven't changed your lampshade for a long, long time, think of the dust and the stuff oh that might be in that lampshade. That's right. Even if you've been cleaning it. They're hard know, to clean, too, aren't I know. They, it gets know? like little microfibers yeah. gets into that, you know. So whether it's a simple drum-shaped one to, you know, other fancy different colored, right. you know, shades, like right. maybe even a leopard shade or whatever. I mean, just kind of express yourself. Sure, something new, something different. And update different. your shade, yeah. right? Of course, painting on the inside, we talk about that all the time. That's very easy to kind of change the look of, uh, of any room. Yeah, like if you have an old armoire that's kind of dark and dingy, why not just paint a nice, vibrant aqua color on the inside, Pretty. you know, to kind of set the bar glasses uh-huh. off and, you know, highlight the alcohol bottles and even some lighting inside, something like that. If Even if it's an LED light that you can just turn on and off without having to wire. It gives mm-hmm. it that bar room feel where you've illuminated the liquor bottles or the glasses. Great mm-hmm. idea. And these LED strips, I mean, there's so many of them that are like, you know, battery operated, easy to install. Sure. I put a couple of those in my closet. They're these yeah. these two strips that have um, they're almost like wands, you know, and I and and they have adhesive on the back of them, and you just kind of stick them to the wall. Right. But you could use this on that bar armoire you're talking well, about. Well, yeah, because you know that's how the bars look so cool and fancy. Yes. Is that you're illuminating from the back. The, the glass liquor bottles. bottles right? Yeah. It just yeah. Really makes it look great. And the mirrors just kind of gives it shiny. Yeah. If you put a mirror in the back of it too, mm-hmm. it's really pretty. How about speaking of mirrors, creating a collection? This is something you can do today or this weekend. You know. Maybe you have uh, several mirrors, or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's white picture, a picture of some kind, or any kind of antique collectible. Creating a uh, collection will not only make it look like it's not clutter, right? Right. But it's going to give that room an instant pow, an instant style. Yeah, exactly. Now, what about just decorating the space that you're in? Not necessarily the place where you think everybody's going to go hang, like Very the foyer important. or the yes. or the family room, quote-unquote, that nobody ever goes in. Think don't, about s- you. Don't spend the time and money on those things. Just think about your, your bathroom space. Make mm-hmm. it a spa-like retreat or your bedroom or someplace that you're spending the majority of your time in. Spend the money there because that's where you're going to get the most bang for mm-hmm. your buck. And really, when you're talking about creating a spa bathroom, it can be as easy as going out and buying some really thick, lush white towels oh man that makes a huge difference you know just get like four really thick or like a real fluffy bath really fluffy in a bat man and maybe even a nice robe yeah you know and a couple of candles i mean that and a a plant maybe an orchid i mean just that's all you need and that's going to make and maybe a little soap dish with some some really fragrant soaps yeah and maybe <laughs> hey, take a stop already for crying out loud. We're not spending a lot of money here. See, look, we're already bickering about this. 
<laughs> but maybe, that is and, and, and maybe, maybe maybe a pair of sandals and another dress. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I do like to shop. Yeah. Um, how about defining a cozy space too? So after it's all about you and you've done something for your bathroom or your bedroom that's you know that's going to make you feel pampered. How about going to that next area? where it's an open floor plan, but there's an area that just needs to make it feel more approach, you know, more approachable and intimate. Right now, it just kind of feels like it's just like a dance floor. Right. You know, divide up I mean, the you know, yeah, div- you can divide it up by actually just hanging some really pretty, you know, curtains with yes. a great rod to yes. d- distinguish these separate areas. You can close it off if you want to. And say, boom, you go in that you room. Go in the, in you here. go behind the curtain. <laughs> What's behind curtain number one, Jim? You know, you can even play that game. I mean, yeah. But it makes, a, it makes a difference that you can separate space out. Even just the feeling of hanging drapery, you know, kind of acoustically changes the feel of a room too. So mm-hmm. great call. And it gives it a very rich and, and lush, I think, vibe, yeah, right? Just yeah, having yeah. that added fabric. How about changing your light fixture? Man, that's a huge thing. Instead of a standard chandelier, you know, hanging a lantern. Get something fancy. Yeah. Right? You know, you can spend a couple of hundred bucks to get a really kind of overwhelmingly beautiful fixture. There's some great stuff online too. There's some knockoff stuff of historical types of uh, design when it comes to lighting fixtures. So take a look out there and find something other than just that, you know, builder series light fixture that you have already that really enhances a dining room space. In fact, you know, we talk a lot about taking the indoors outside. Well, you can also flip that and bring the outside inside. And I think a lot of the outdoor um, lighting fixtures that you might, you know, see in a patio store, right? Right. Or like you might see it sold with uh, dining room patio furniture. Why not consider that for your indoor patio lighting? It's, yeah, so yeah, it, that's so a good it's, idea. It's a different look, but it's still going to feel really cool and neat. Sure. You know, a little bit different than than your standard lighting fixture, the, the crystal chandelier or the yeah. whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. So now, little... now you want to hear my da 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 ba 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 da da. What's that? Yes. The best bang for the buck design thing that we can do. What's that? Ditch the matching pillows. Okay. You don't have to have matching pillows on every single piece of furniture. Why not bring in more design elements and color, pops of color here, there, and everywhere with a brand new throw pillow? Even if you have the existing pillows and you recover it, they sell these, these uh, you know, like almost duvet covers for pillows now. Yep. Great idea. Change it up. And make sure that if you do get the covers that they have the zipper. Yeah, because if, is... if you can't take them off and wash them, guess what? You got some hash brown and ketchup on that pillow, and you got to flip it over. You only get one flip, and then you're done. One and done, I say. <laughs> right? <laughs> and also, make sure that you go to some of these Pinterest pages. I mean, the whole idea of coming up with something that is uh, transitional, that is, that's you, that's inexpensive, this is going to add so much uh, new energy to your home, yeah. right? And we can't forget the probably the number one thing to do. What? And that is to clean up every room and downsize what you've got. Oh, man. You're preaching to the choir. You know, Good job. That yes. is going to, and I love the idea, too, of just spending, you know, one hour. Use the kitchen timer, the old school wind-up timer. If you don't have one, buy one. It's very satisfying because the tick, 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 you yeah. hear that? And Gotta then when it, it ding, you go, you know, I'm done. I accomplished well, it, something. And then it feels like you have a bigger space because yeah. you've gotten rid of all the clutter that makes you feel oppressed, so, right? So start with just the tchotchkes. Start, spend, I want you to spend one hour this week in, in one room and just start with all the little decorative things. You have maybe a table lamp. You have a couple little figurines. You've yeah. got frame pictures. You've got a house plant. Take them all out of the room, put them on a dining room table, and just go back into the room without anything and then selectively put one or two back. That's it. And see what you like. You just It'll be remodeled different. your house, you just by did the way. It. You just anyway, did it. we love hanging out with you. Thanks for being with us. Remember to email us at yourhomewizards.com. We'd love to hear from you and make sure we're talking about the things that you consider to be important, all right? Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. And until next time, remember this, the key is under the mat. Bye-bye. While you place the flowers in the vase